Hello and uh, welcome to another video in this series which attempts to answer the most frequently asked questions about fantasy grounds unity. Um, now today we're going to uh, look at the uh, setting up of effects for the Hexblader's Curse. Uh, this isn't uh, specific to uh, unity by any means, it's uh, everything that we will talk about applies also to classic, uh, but since there's lots of new users um, for unity uh, then it's uh, worthwhile uh, having a look. So uh, let's uh, have a look at the character then. We've got Icarus here who's a first level Warlock and we've given him the um, uh, Warlock, uh, the Hexblades uh, archetype from Xanathar's Guide and if we look in his Abilities tab we'll be able to see the Hexblader's Curse. Uh, we click the link here and it opens it up, tells us all about it. And we can see that there are three parts to it. Uh, he gains uh, bonus to uh, attack uh, he can crit on a 19 or 20, and if the target dies, uh, he gets a bit of a heal. So the first thing I always recommend if you're trying to set up effects for a, a feature, for a class, or a trait, or anything like that, is to uh, open up the uh, text here, and then go to the Actions tab, and then drag the uh, text into the Actions tab. Um, now there's a couple of good reasons for doing this, the first of which is that uh, it creates a link in the Actions tab, so the player is able to just open this up and see what it's all about. And the second thing, as you can see, is that it actually has set up a couple of effects for us. Um, now, Fantasy Grounds has got a, an internal parser in it, which tries to make sense of the text of anything that's dragged into the Actions tab. And if it can make sense of them, then it'll create effects depending on the wording. And in this case here, it's created this cursed effect. And that's due to the uh, wording here um, that, that says the, uh, uh, the target is cursed for one minute. And it, Fantasy Grounds recognises that string and it's created the curse and given it a, a duration of a minute. If we have a look in the magnifying glass here, it's uh, added the curse into the descriptor. It's created a duration of a minute and it's left the targeting and the expend uh, to never. So that's the first part of the um, thing that we need. We need that uh, cursed effect uh, in order to uh, make sense of the rest of it. And the second thing is done is it's added in the heel. And again, it's looking at this uh, area here and it's looking at this phrase, you regain hit points equal to your warlock level plus your charisma modifier. Um, and if we again, if you look at the magnifying glass here, uh, we've got a, a targeting is to self, because you regain. Uh, the hit points are hit points rather than temporary hit points. And it's added in um, a bonus of, uh, or at least a stat, of Warlock level 1, or a level of Warlock plus the Charisma bonus. If we have a look at the uh, main tab here, we can see the Charisma bonus is 3. He's obviously level 1, so therefore 3 plus 1 added it up and it's made 4. So, uh, by simply dragging in this text, it's set up a couple of the effects uh, for us. Now, the uh, cursed effect, this first part here, we gain a bonus to damage rolls against the cursed target. Um, this isn't going to give us that bonus, so we need another part or another effect um, so that we can actually uh, make this work. Um, we're going to do that by adding in another effect. Uh, we're going to right-click over this um, uh, oh, one thing I could say, that in this right-hand box here, uh, we can type in something like uh, Warlock Features. And when we tab out of that, it gives us uh, the title of this power group. And we can drag in other uh, features of the Warlock into here, and uh, we can keep them all nice and neat in the same uh, power group, uh, should you desire. Uh, at any rate, um, we need another effect for this uh, in order to make use of this cursed effect. So we're going to do this by right-clicking on this line here. We're going to go to Add Action, then we're going to Add Effect. Then we're going to click the magnifying glass at the end of the new line that's just been created to open up the Effects dialog. Uh, in this top line here, we're just going to type the following. Uh, if T, uh, end it with a colon, Custom, fully capitalized, open brackets, the word cursed, close our brackets, then a semicolon, a DMG, end it with a colon, and then we're going to open square brackets, 
and type in PRF and close the square brackets. Now effectively what this line is doing is that it's saying that if the target, because uh, this, this effect is going to go on the player, so if the player has a target uh, targeted and if that target has this custom cursed effect on it, uh, then deal some more damage to the target equal to the player's proficiency modifier, which is what the PRF is. You can see that the player's proficiency modifier is here as 2, so when we put this onto the combat tracker, this will change the damage too, because Fantasy Grounds will um, work out what the PRF is. So really it's just a, a, it's just a statement, it's just looking for this um, cursed, tar or cursed effect uh, on the target. Um, now the duration for this is uh, going to be one minute, uh, we're told that from up here, so we're going to type in one in this box and then we're going to click on the RND until it says minute. Um, the targeting has to be self because we want this uh, effect on the player, we don't want it on the targets. And we can leave the expend in this case to never. And uh, that's it, so let's test this out, uh, let's get um, a combat tracker up. Uh, let's put uh, Icarus on the combat tracker. Let's make it uh, his turn. And then he's going to target this black bear up here in the usual way by CTRL clicking on it. And now that he's got a target, uh, he can then press this little running man icon here. And this will place the cursed effect onto the black bear. So he's used his bonus action and he's uh, cursed the black bear. Uh, he's then going to click on the running man icon for this other uh, effect here and is going to place this effect on, its, on himself. And you can see that the damage there has now been translated from uh, the PRF is translated into 2. So we now have both effects in place and if Icarus was then to make some, uh, make a damage, make a, an attack against the black bear and hit it and then do damage, uh, when we do the damage Oh, we've got the uh, uh, manual dice roller on. Uh, well, let's we'll just do the roll. Well, let's just take the manual dice roller uh, off for the moment. Um, and if we look down here, we can see um, that the effect has been added in. It says effects here plus two, and uh, Icarus has been given a D8 plus a bonus of four. His normal uh, bonus is just two. So the two and the two is added together to make four. So the effect has worked. Um, if we were to do the same thing, but this time just drop some damage on the brown bear, uh, we can see that the only uh, the two has been given. So he didn't get the effect uh, because the black bear doesn't have the cursed uh, effect on it. Um, so this is uh, this part is working, and this is how you would uh, target. You would specifically target a cursed creature to do the extra damage. It won't do uh, any damage to any other creature, only the creature that has the cursed effect on it. Um, so let's go back to our hexbladers cursor and look at the second part here now, uh, which is an attack roll made against the cursed target as a critical on a 19 or a 20. Now there's a couple of ways that you can do this. Um, and the first way is just to watch the dice, um, and if you roll a 19 uh, uh, to hit the creature, um, then you would just say, well, that's a critical hit, and when you do the damage, uh, you would hold down shift uh, when you apply the damage. So if we are holding down shift and apply this damage to this creature, you can see that it's done uh, critical damage rather than just the single dice that it should normally be. Um, so that's the first method. Uh, of dealing with the uh, the critical. Uh, the second method is that we can create an effect for this and again we can uh, right click on this line here go to add action and go to add effect we click our magnifying glass to get our dialog and then in this line here we type in uh, crit uh, end with a colon and then number 19. Um, again this one's going to last for a minute uh, so we can put in our minutes here, and then the targeting has got to be uh, self as well, because this, this uh, effect must sit uh, on the player, because it's the player that is going to be uh, hitting on a 19. 
so we can close that and the player can apply that effect. Um, now we could be here all day trying to roll a 19, so let's get our uh, manual dice roller back on. Put that up here just now. And uh, if we uh, apply this uh, some attack to the black bear, we get our manual dice roller and if we add in 19, as if we had rolled a 19, when we click OK we can see here that the critical has taken effect. It says here we crit on a 19 and it's telling us that we have a critical hit. And if we uh, do the damage now, uh, just let it roll, we can see that it actually has done the critical uh, damage. Um, now, the problem uh, with uh, having the effect on like this is that this isn't specific to the cursed creature in this case because we can't uh, use the crit with the if target uh, keyword because this isn't a targeted effect. Um, if you want to know what a targeted effect is, have a look at the uh, wiki on effects and it'll explain exactly what it is there, but essentially um, this can't be tied in with a, an if target uh, keyword. Um, so that means that uh, if we were to uh, attack the brown bear here, for example, and uh, get a 19, then we are also doing a critical hit uh, on the brown bear, which would be incorrect. Um, so there's a couple of ways that we can uh, get around this. Uh, the first uh, way is that if the player is going to be targeting something other than the cursed target, then the Dungeon Master can come into the effects here. He can expand the effects by clicking on the little head icon here. And then you'll see these three buttons here. And on the top one here, the green one, it says on. If the Dungeon Master clicks on that little button, it shows uh, skip one use. So if our player now uh, was to attack the uh, brown bear and we rolled a 19, then no critical hit is gone. And you can see that the on has now, uh, or the, the uh, skip one turn has now, it's skipped and so it's come back to on. Um, so that's one method uh, of dealing with it, uh, which would involve the Dungeon Master uh, doing his little thing with this little button here. And the second method uh, that we could use is that instead of uh, expending on never, uh, we could change this to uh, on next action uh, or on next roll. Um, and if we uh, look at this then, the if we take this off and reapply, the effect um, and if we were to make an attack against the um, black bear and if we score a 19 then we get our critical hit but the effect has been removed from uh, Icarus. Um, so uh, what Icarus would need to then do would be to reapply the effect every time that they make an attack against the cursed creature and it would automatically be taken off after they make the attack um, so that if they wanted to attack something in the next turn uh, that wasn't cursed then it wouldn't the effect wouldn't be applied uh, so there's a couple of methods uh, that you can deal with the uh, the critical uh, and it's up to you and your dungeon master which of those uh, you would prefer to use um, now the one last thing that we should have a look at just if uh, the black bear was to uh, attack Icarus and uh, do some damage. Uh, and if then Icarus uh, killed the black bear, then this is where the heal would come in. And he would just simply need to uh, click this icon here. And he would heal four points. You can see he had seven points of damage. He now has three. And so um, that effect has been created for us. We don't need to do anything with that. That works uh, just straight off the bat. Um, okay, I think that's it. I don't think there's anything else that we need to worry about for this. Uh, so I hope you uh, got something out of this video. Um, uh, this um, idea with the custom, by the way, we'll, we'll uh, look at a couple of other things like the uh, uh, the Hunter's Mark and the uh, Hex Spell Curse. There's a few uh, different things where it's targeted to specific targets and this uh, If Target Custom 
uh, will uh, work for those as well. Um, okay, I think that is it this time. Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.